today is no equipment needed unless of course you really want to grab a bag you can you're going to lie down on your back with your legs straight out slightly wide arms down by your side and bring them up turn your palms upwards and i just want you to get your take your legs very wide to the corners of your mat i want you to get a feel for how your spine sits on the floor so you may feel like your lower back is slightly elevated that's fine i want you to take a long deep breath in and on the exhalation, gently draw your belly down to your face this time. So you're closing the gap of that lower back. And as you inhale, release again. So imagine you're breathing out to the sides of your rib cage as you inhale, and you exhale, you're drawing everything down into the center of your abdomen, down to your lower belly. Right, we are going to take our legs together. Our arms are going to reach overhead, interlace your fingers, stretch your palms away, straighten the legs. Pointing your toes down towards the front of the room. Reach, reach, reach. I'm trying to turn my volume down and my thingy is not working. And then on the inhale, release your arms up towards the ceiling, drop them back down towards the floor. Now slide your toes in, push your heels away from your legs and through the back of the legs, and then reach those arms back over. Interlace the fingers, take a stretch. Slide your shoulders over to the right side of your mat, and take a little side stretch, C curve. Reach through that body. Feel your rib cage opening out. Push your left hip bone down into the ground. And then inhale, center, exhale to the left, stretch out, reach through the arm, push your right hip down towards the top, lengthen out through the rib cage. Breathe into it, extend even more, take one more breath, and then bring your shoulders back to the center, release your arms, take a breath in, inhale, lift one leg up, take a top, one leg by the Left straighten those legs to the sky, pushing the soles of the feet, drawing your belly down towards the ground. So you feel your coccyx grounded and the backs of the knees pushing away, toes down, heels away. Relax through those shoulders. Inhale, point the toes, bend the knees to tabletop. We're going to tap our right leg down, lift it up, left leg down. So just continue there. Let's wake up the lower abs. Breath away, pull in. Push shoulder blades down into the floor. Just whole spine is connected to the ground. Really drawing that depth into your core straight away, warming everything up. So we lift down, exhale. Lift. Right, let's do eight more taps. Ending on the left leg. Let's begin to squeeze that tummy a little bit more, draw everything into the center. And then when you've done your last tap, one more time for those legs. Straight up to the sky, soles of breath, let the feet press towards the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then we bend the knees, we pop the feet down onto the floor. We take a breath in here. Slide your shoulder blade under. Exhale, roll the hips up into a bridge. 
So let's warm up through the lower back and back to the legs, thighs, maybe the front of the thighs as well. We inhale, simply drop our buttocks, brush the floor. We exhale, lift the hips and lift the heels to the top. Drop the heels, drop the buttocks, lift the hips, lift the heels. But don't ever rest down, they just literally brush the floor and then they come back up again. You do your back up to this, Holly? Yes. Stay. You can put the I've got um, Nick. You stay? No, I can't, sorry. But Pilates takes precedence. <laughs> The inhale, brush the floor, exhale, lift, squeeze up. Right now, pull the knees a little bit closer together. So we're starting to activate a little bit more around the back to the uh, thighs, outer thighs, and four more. So here's the Okay. Huh? <laughs> I didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> Pulling the knees closer together as you lift. Squeeze them in. So you get your knee bones touching. Now hold your last one up. Squeeze the thighs, lift the hips, hold the hips on those toes. Lift, lift, lift. Come on, press. So it's going to be nice. Five, four, three, two, one more. Open the knees, drop the heels, and roll it out. Press. Take your feet a little bit wider so you're lining up with the edges of your mat. Then lift your knees, take hold of your knees, and give a little hug, wide hug in. So pull your knees towards your armpits. A little rock side to side. What did you say happened yesterday, Abby? Everything. <laughs> Hurt my thighs. <laughs> good, good. Okay, we're going to lift the feet. Bring them together, keeping our knees wide, that diamond shape. Sliding our fingers to the side of our head. We're going to inhale, roll the chin towards the chest and hold a crunch. As we drop our elbow over towards our right knee, we tap our left foot down, but we're maintaining that lateral rotation in the hip. Back to centre, turn, twist and drop down. So we're trying to keep a diamond shape or half diamond shape through the legs as we drop. Keep thinking, knees turning out. With slight lateral rotation, work a little bit differently to just doing parallel leg position. If you want more, you go to a little bit deeper. But maintain those knees pointing out to the side. Don't come down in the middle, stay high, and also don't let your hips drop side to side. Fix in that lower core. We're going to do four more each side. And then bring your feet together in that diamond shape. Lower your head and shoulders down. Bring your hands together. Pistol grip your fingers. Take a breath in. Open the knees. Now push the inside of your feet together. Lift up to your heels and pulse. Little tiny movement. Ten, nine, touch your heels, open your knees, three, two, and one. Open those knees wide again, put them into your armpits. I did powerlifting today, I think my core's dead. So that's all right, I'm sitting with my core. Good. <laughs> Now, keeping that same width, drop your feet back down to the floor, knees open nice and wide, arms down by your side. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can take it to a T-shape, open and wide or overhead. And we lift the hips and we roll our hips up to the sky. We squeeze our thighs together. Feel that rolling motion off the inside of your feet. Open your knees wide and drop your buttocks back down. Now we're working hard into these legs. I want you to feel as you squeeze your legs together, those bones touching. Feel inside knee bones. Breath, open, drop. 
It is easy, take your feet and knees a little bit wider. Now, half the challenge of this exercise is not letting your hips drop and squeeze the thighs. Work those muscles you don't usually work. Squeeze them, open them, drop. It's snowing outside now. Uh oh. Hope you brought the chains. <laughs> Shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Right, give me six more and I want to see more squeeze. I want to see more squeeze. I want everything to really touch your cheeks and those inner thighs. And when you've done that last one, Hold that squeeze of the thighs and then just another inch lift if you can. And then inhale, open, exhale, roll it out. Once you've hit the ground, take your arms to T shape and let your knees drop one side to the other. So once I drop my left knee, it sits behind my right foot, and then I drop my right knee, it sits behind my left foot. And then same thing there. So your knees need to be, your feet need to be really wide. I've got my feet pretty much off my mat to the side. Now I want you to drop your legs all the way over to the right. Pop your right foot on that left knee and stretch across that thigh. And try and get your, the inside of your left knee bone touching the floor. The other one, swap. So take your left knee behind your right foot, pull that bit and out. Oh, that needs to You need to pull the weight from the right leg. You can pull deep stretch. Okay. And then pull back. Always resist. Pull back against that weight by pulling your left shoulder to the floor. And then we're ready to go. We simply roll over to the other side. Knees land. And then take the left foot on the right knee and stretch. Oh, that's so nice. I'm not very good at taking the description. Are you better at following me? <laughs> Are you better at following me? Do you visual? Yes. Do you want me to come and touch you? But I don't you see you. If you slide towards the foot and then sit more to the center of the back, it'll be lower. There we go. <laughs> And then release, roll back to the middle. Pause <laughs> in the middle. Tabletop legs. We're going to inhale, drop our legs halfway to the right. Thighs stay squeezed together, and we extend the left leg, towards the flips in that foot. Inhale, bend the knees, move back to center, straight over to the left. I go to the right. Right leg, straighten it, keeping your thighs aligned. And continue, move slowly. So if you're tight your hamstring, keeping your thighs aligned is gonna be hard. So what I want you to do is look at when you extend that top leg, don't let your legs slide away from one another. Keep them squeezed together. Sorry, that's <laughs> And I want you to pull your toes in, now, if you are feeling like this is, this is all right, you know, my hamstrings are feeling pretty delightful, no tightness, you can do a double leg. Now, double leg, pull your toes up towards your right shoulder. On the hook, when you go to the right side, and when you go to the left, pull up to the left shoulder. Let's see what's going on here. And then use your core, use the complete, you decide to add to re control it. Two more each side. That's what you need after the presentation. Okay, we are going to keep the knees bent through the center, let our knees drop all the way over to the right side. 
Right hand on top of that thigh, and then squeeze into your left shoulder. So I want you to feel the pressure of your arm increasing that stretch. All good. Take a few breaths. And we're going to add the hamstring. Hold on to the bottom of your calf like that. Elbow to the ground and push that leg straight forward. <laughs> Bring your toes up higher. There we go. And then use that grip to push your knee into extension. Great to make more, to the left shoulder down more. You can go a little bit further. Pull the toes up towards your right shoulder a little bit more. Come on, move that leg straight to the knee. And then we have to release the knee. Legs together, abs on. I love the way you just rolled yourself straight back yeah. over when you're meant to still be in the position. Oh, and then you fell over on to your right side. Left to right, just left to right. Sorry. <laughs> just roll over. I can't see anything. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm afraid to structure. Yeah. And you followed it really well. <laughs> right. So your knees are naturally bent. The top leg is just going to float into a straight line running down the line of your body. Okay. So shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked, abs are oh on. Point the toe like a tip of a pencil. Okay? Your leg is going to come forward no further than your leg that's already bent. You're going to lift it up into a massive circle and then squeeze the butt behind to get your circle back behind you and so on. Just making circles for legs. What I don't want you to do is turn your leg up towards the sky and then it happily just does out circles. I want you to try and keep your hip level pointing forward as best you can. And you should feel this in your tummy muscles because you're controlling the move and the balance of the body with your tummy. Biggest circles you can possibly go. Now, it doesn't take long to hurt the point of it. Mm -hmm. One more big circle and simply reverse. Pause the front of your hips, squeeze back on the you and take that circle up, back and round. So behind you, through the legs to the back, through the legs yeah. to the back. No. Through the bed cap and then up. Oh, and I don't want to see any of the hips moving. Now, oh, fixing those abs a little bit more. Four more big circles. Get them another inch higher. I'm a genius, but there's a lot of fun to go. Is it making lots of picky noises? Oh, a lot of hips do. Stop at your hip height. Pull your toes in. Turn your big toes down towards the floor. Tap it. Lift it straight back up. Tap it. Lift it straight back up as much as you possibly can. Squeeze it. Up and down. Four. Five. Six. Keep tapping the big toes. Seven. We're going to ten. Eight. Tummy on. Hold your last one at the top and give me some little pulses. 20 little pulses to finish off. Now physically squeeze your left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We bend it in towards our armpit. Catch it in your armpit. That's rubbish. So let your buttock relax whilst you kind of hold it here with your arm. You might be holding your hand. 
Slide your hand down that leg. Ideally, you're catching your foot. And then you're taking that leg straight up towards the leg. No, I'm not doing anything of the thought. I'm holding it and tear that out. <laughs> you can hold it around the back. Okay, so you're trying to get your hip bone oh, pushed forward as your leg pushes back, bending your elbow and driving that leg forward. Oh, oh. So if you're holding it here, push that leg dead straight. Oh, well, you can use a strap on. <laughs> Right, yeah, really. Look like we're playing with the baby. Yeah. Right, they got things like this. Oh, hold. Use the bag to your advantage. Yeah. Work on the extension of the uh, knee. So I want you to try and drive your hip forward, your leg back. Open your knee towards that corner. Well, that's it, and straight. You just this arm. It's your left arm. So you roll more into your shoulder. Hold the bandage to your left hand. Oh, right, right. That's it. And then turn that way and open that way. That's the right. Auntie, why are you not doing? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, no, you are. Have you not got a strap or band, Auntie? Because this is the one exercise that stretch that you really need. Towel, anything, jumper, tea towel. <laughs> right, let's pull those towels into your left shoulder, straighten your knee, and then open the leg behind you, but draw the hip forward. That, that leg you were holding. Okay, fine. The other one. <laughs> And then ease it off. Oh, bend the knees. See where they were. We have not finished on this side. It's just getting exciting. Okay, onto your elbow. No, no, I think my instructions were to let go of the leg and let the leg pull together. But I think Ali was disturbing you. Oh, didn't hear that. Okay, so you're on your right elbow, your left hand's coming behind you, and then you're lifting onto the right buttock. Pull your chest out. Extend your legs straight up to your sky. Bend them. Lovely. Now, if you're finding this quite easy, the alternative is to keep your legs straight, put them down, pull them up. Okay. Now you use your tummy muscle. We're doing eight muscles. Eight. Seven. If it's really difficult, that's your alternative. One leg at the top. Other leg relaxing. Four. Lift your chest out of your shoulders, don't think. Last two. Now we hold our last one. Up to the top. Straight up to the top. Just remember that's what you did in the same thing. Ah, let's okay. remember it. I'm going to get confused. Okay. Now we're going to take our arms and legs into a straight line. Draw your lower belly off the floor and we're going to lift the left leg, right arm up, reach it away and drop it straight back down and then to the other side. Classic Pilates. Oh, yeah. I can't call women though, we don't care, hitting the road. We're international women, others. Right. Okay. Quite like a challenging role. Eight more, keep it slow, keep them reach. Mobilize that shoulder. Yeah. 
hip bones grounded, belly forward in tight, supporting that lower back. So I'm coming up to my last two. Then just drop down to your shoulder and breath. You have two options. You can either lift your legs and arms up and hover for a moment, or lift your left and right arm up and pulse. You see, might be pulsing back. So reaching up, straight forward. Yeah. And my leg is in the mirror, in the mirror. Oh, yeah. Or one side. So do one side, do four more. And then you can swap to the other side. We're all going to do eight more. You might be doing eight, seven, which is right on seven. Five, come on, squeeze your up, plus three. Now lift your chest up and hold the hover. Take your arms out around, interlace your fingers at the back. Drop your feet to the ground and lift your chest and lift your arms. Up towards the ceiling and slide it back towards your heels. Open the shoulders, feet on the ground. Um, I can't actually do the raise and arms. Um, I can't get your arms up. No, they're not, they're not going up. No. There's no movement there. And literally... Okay. That's it. That's it. Five, four, left, two, and then release the arms. Take the chin on it, and take a little wriggle through the head. Take the eye gaze the other way. Now, all we can simply do is turn onto our opposite side, turn to our left side. Oh, you've got to make top ends again. Yeah. <laughs> and then drop down to your hip. Your knees bend forward, your top leg stays hovered. And you're pointing your toe up to the pencil. Hip stacks, shoulder stacks, everything in position. We swing our legs forward, open it up. Weave back behind and thread, uh, put it through the bottom. And what we don't want to do is feel that wobble side to side. So you can really grip it. And also, I don't want to see this happening. That's easy. Always have your hip bone rotated so you have to really work deeper into those muscles. So if I see, best way to know your hips in the position, if you don't flex, turn your toes down, then point your toe. That's the position you keep your leg in the whole time. Okay, two more big circles in this direction, and then we're going to go to the Do we start with reversing? I've got to reverse the edges, go. Yeah. And now I'm just having a look. See what everyone else is doing. <laughs> so don't forget that little squeeze back, slow it down a little bit. Right, two more. Okay, when you've done that last big circle, pause at your hip. Flex your foot, push your big toes down, tap down, then just straighten back up. Make sure you've got a little squeeze for that butt so you're pulling your leg back slightly. That's fine. So I feel this more in my bleed, the size of my waistline, and I do my leg. Keep your toes going down the whole time. Five, four, Doing. Hold up in the air. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And hold. Squeeze, squeeze. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Heel up. Toes down. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze your butt cheek. Relax it. Roll a little bit over into that left buttock. As you hold onto that leg, just let it be quite floppy. Just hold the weight a bit here. Two 
it a little bit more difficult to find it. Grab your fan, I'm going to take it into. So grab your toes. Straight the knee, bend the elbows, rub the leg in. So we want this leg to move backwards, but we want our hip to move forward. So I'm now rolling over more into that bottom hip. So I want to see your hip, this hip bone coming forward towards the, towards the mirrors. And then open the leg, and drive the toes down and extend the knee. The balance will allow you to have that more gear. Feel it in the bottom, bottom, hamstring, the bone. Straighten the knee, bottom, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it, straighten the knee, back of the knee, stay straight. Both of you. I can't go any straighter. It's my knee, it's my big kneecap. <laughs> Draw it in towards you, put it in towards your shoulder. So if you roll a little bit more over onto your side, roll into your left side a little bit more. Oh. So I want you to still be resting on your arm here. So roll, roll back over to your left side a bit more. Yeah. And now open your leg more. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Release. Put the knees through. Oh. Just for a moment. You come up onto your elbows. Arm behind, onto the buttock, tuck the knees in, and we extend the leg straight up and down. And if you wish, we drop down and lift up. Some right. Eight more. Come on, lift. Squeeze those tummy muscles. Keep the belly. Seven. Six. I'm just going too fast. Slow it down. Five. Time under tension. Four. Three. Two. The next one stays up. Just lift the leg. Whoop. Um, reach, squeeze it in. Four, eight, seven, reach. Oh, I'm falling. Four, three, two, and. What in this studio? Wow, it's only a mat. Come on. I didn't even think it would be a mat. I was just like, I was just going to lie. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Slide your arms up to T-shape. Engage those abs. Stretch your back. Lift those knees up to tabletop. We're going back into those rocking side to side with those legs extending together this time. If you want to make it a little bit as we rotate, you can do it straight legs and just pendulum side to side. Don't go too far because you won't come back up. And you have to really fix them through those abs. So you can stick with just doing your knee bend and you're extending on your side. So let's do four more. So if you're doing the bend and extending the legs, really draw the toes up and in so you get a little bit more extra abdominal work. And then when you come to your last one, you bend your knees, and we're going to drop our knees all the way over to the left. Catch the thigh, and then twist into that right arm. Thank you. 
Nice long deep breath here. Now we are going to take it into the hamstring. When you're ready, take your hand underneath the heart, the elbow to the ground, and straighten that leg up to your hand. Push you through the heel, toes in, and twist. You do that lovely rotation. Do you need some help again? You're all right. Yeah? Oh, anyone? Anyone can help? Okay. Okay, the knees. Three more breaths. Now release the knee gently, roll back into the middle, hop your feet down. We're going to do two more exercises. We're running out of time. Take your left ankle over your right knee, lift your right leg up. And then tap the heel, lift the leg. So that is now the weight of the thigh. Or extend away and bend. Extend away and bend. Or leg straight down and up. Make it strong. Going to go eight more. So it's a slightly faster pace. Squeeze into the belly. Three, two, one more. Oh, lift the legs away to the sky. And then spread your arms inside that right side. Bend the heel to the bottom and stretch that left button. Open the left knee. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. That's fine. Oh, yeah, because I'm looking at you in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, next time I'll switch over. So drive the thighs in towards and push your bottom into the front, open that left knee and find that stretch, unless you're out in the right knee. Well, well that's fine. <laughs> we were looking at you in the mirror. Find the strength. Oh, you're both doing right, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's not your fault. Well, whatever you're doing, just pull that stretch and make it deep. Use your arm. And all we're going to do is extend those legs up to the sky and then slide the right angle to the left knee, bend the left knee in and repeat. Left. Right. 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 Or extend and bend. Or straighten the legs to the sky and give me eight more. Choose whatever one you wish. Three. Three more. Last one. Lift it all the way up. And then catch the side. Bend the heel to the bottom. Head down. Open the knee. Use your arm. Drive yourself into that stretch. Take some long deep breaths. Make it strong, so make it easy. If you pull your thighs in, push your bottom down. Go a bit deeper. That's a nice stretch. Yeah, a lot of people love the stretch. And then what I want you to do is just begin to release the, both feet. Just give me a little bridge up towards the sky, a little counter stretch to do all that flexion. Just a big raise up, squeeze those buttocks at the back, fix in those hamstrings, and then just gently roll it down. As soon as you hit the floor, lift the legs in, slide your hands around the back of the thighs, do a little rolling motion, back to the forwards. Reflect the spine. Come sit, come to me, come sit position. Open your arms. 
Right, don't think so. Hmm? <laughs> Hand on your knees and lift yourself up to you. Open your arms. Raise your arms up into a big circle. Bring your hands down in front. Give yourself a clap, ladies and gentlemen. That's a bit of classic walking today. A bit of stretch. So. Being kind. <laughs> I'm 